and welcome my love muffins it is Tori and I am here with your self love is the best love reading all right welcome I am just I'm flabbergasted okay <laughs> it is such an honor to read for every beautiful soul that has clicked on this video honey because that lets me know that you are definitely on a journey of self-love self-worth and self-acceptance and that always just warms my heart because with those three keys it will unlock the doors to all the desires of your heart your wildest dreams becoming a reality honey like it is the way to get what you want <laughs> And it's always beautiful because you get to be yourself. That is what self-love, self-worth, and self-acceptance is. You being yourself. You realizing your worth. You appreciating who you are. So for every beautiful soul who has clicked on this video, who has asked me to make it for the channel worldwide, honey, <laughs> I am definitely doing it. And it is such an honor. We talked about doing it in a daily. So... It's here. I made it for you guys, all right? So before we start, I do want to ask that you are definitely in a place where you are comfortable, all right? Um, that too much is not going on around you. And if it is, just pause and save this video for later. But if you feel like you can't wait and spirit telling you to go, then go forth, all right? <laughs> Who am I to tell you how to do it? But I just want you to be comfortable. I just want you to be in a place where you can let your guards down so you can be open and willing to receive the message the spirit has placed on my heart. If you have personally inquired about this or if you are subscribed to my channel I definitely wanted to pull your energy and I set that intent for all of you and for anyone else who is guided to this video all right so yeah it's on YouTube but you just didn't click here because all right you clicked here because whether consciously or subconsciously, you were led here. There's a message in here for you. So it is dealing with multiple energies, all right? So it kind of is general, but it's personal. I set that intent that you walk away with something concerning yourself. And I know that spirit never comes back void, all right? <laughs> so there's definitely something in here for you. If you feel like, okay, this is not, just be mindful um, be courteous that somebody else, you know, needed to hear that. All right. So we have brothers and sisters. We're all, you you know, leaked together. So it, everyone's included in here. All right. So I want to get started. Oh, I just feel so good. Um, make sure you got your tea, honey, because I got mine. I'm drinking on smooth mood and smooth mood, smooth mood and green tea. All right. So ooh, shake those jitters off. Because we might go to some places. Oh, we might go to some places. And I know that it might get tight. All right. It might get uncomfortable. But baby, when you're uncomfortable, all right, and dancing on the edge with your dreams, that's what I care about. When you are being your authentic self, when you don't care and you realize that other people don't make or break you or other things or their viewpoints of you don't make or break you, that you are truly sound within yourself, that you are truly happy every morning to wake up in your body. That's what I care about. <laughs> All right. Because that's what I am having for myself. And I would love for you to experience that. And I feel like everyone who is here is here to experience that. All right, or you're currently experiencing that. So we're going to get started with your personal reading. All right, I could not do all of the questions that I asked in the reading, so I picked the most five that I feel like it would be beneficial to everyone. I mean, because we would be here, honey. <laughs> we would be here. All right, so just as I was saging, lighting a candle, just meditating, getting ready, shuffling these cards, honey, I just wanted to ask Spirit, was there anything intuitively that Spirit would have me tell you today um, concerning your self-love, self-worth, self-acceptance journey? And um, of course there is. Um, when it comes to the chakras that you are flowing in and that um, you definitely want to make sure that you are feeding and definitely growing 
or can you grow chakras? Y'all know what I mean. Keeping them things spinning, <laughs> keeping them up to date in alignment. Um, you definitely want to make sure with your root chakra, which is red, your orange chakra. All right. Those are the main two that came through. I did see a little bit of yellow, but I feel as though um, it's not that you lack the confidence. Um, you lack the safety um, with expressing yourself and, and living your truth. And your truth is whatever that is to you, okay? And so to help be able to just really be your authentic self and just live your truth, all right? And not have that worry or that doubt or that fear or whatever that is behind you. Definitely want to work on your root chakra. Fastest way for that for me is eating according to the color group. <laughs> All right, so with red, definitely want to eat fruits and vegetables that are red. I love me some cherries, strawberries, red apples. I don't like beets, but hey, to each his own. I do love tomatoes though, so you can do that. And also in the um, the orange, because there is a lot of things that you that you have conjured up in that heart, like that you're creating in love and life for yourself, okay? But there are a lot of things that you are creating, okay? Um, yeah, so you definitely wanna make sure that you're eating um, to your, I don't know the name of that chakra, I just call it my creativity chakra. But that's not the that's not the technical name, but it is your orange chakra, and you can just eat fruits and vegetables in the orange range. I love oranges, mangoes, carrots, mm, good stuff. <laughs> you know, so you can definitely eat in those chakras. Definitely do some meditations in those um, chakras, and it was definitely going to help you with um, loving yourself more and um, just realizing how much of a value you are to this to yourself. All right, and it will be. be be projected in the world, all right? So yeah, <laughs> and just accepting this cool individual that you are, because you're amazing. Like every single one of you that I have come in contact with, I mean, even the, yeah, I haven't even came in contact with really any bad people, like for real. People are gonna form their opinions, but for real, you guys are amazing. And I and I want, someone needs to know that, that someone's opinion does not define you. You define you. And that is why you are here. All right. So let me just, let me get to it. So a message that I did get from Spirit, okay, concerning you, um, was that, um, I'm just going to read it. There are a lot of things you are wanting for yourself but you're not feeling safe okay you don't feel safe you mean you have so much I mean your ambition is so out there it's so amazing all right you're wanting so much for yourself but you can't go get it you can't be it you can't be who you are you can't live your truth because you don't feel safe so my question to you is, my love muffins, all right? Why are you not feeling safe? Okay? Have you forgotten your power? Have you forgotten who you are? And if you have, Tori the Hope Dealer would love to remind you, <laughs> all right? You are a goddess. You are a god. You are a child of the Most High. You are a queen. You are a king. But more importantly, you are limitless. So come out of that box. And be you. And you are all things. You lack nothing. All right? <laughs> you lack nothing. What does all mean? I was told all all mean is all. All right? Everything. You have everything inside of you. You lack nothing. You are limitless. So come out of that box. 
all right? And I feel like what the message that Spirit has for you is definitely going to help you come out of that box and really, you know, figure some things out. So we're going to go. <laughs> all right, so the first question that I ask Spirit, my love muffins concerning you guys is, is, what should they value and love more about their selves? So what should you value and love more about yourself? All right. And the first thing I got is lifetime after lifetime, I am a shining spirit, a beautiful light. <laughs> I am always safe. I am eternal. I will go on forever from experience to experience. So when I said that you lack nothing, I meant that. And I ain't talking about this lifetime. You know how many lifetimes that you have traveled? Do you know the kind of wisdom that lives in that brain, the kind of beauty that lives in that heart? You are amazing. And I need you to love and value that more about yourself. Because I feel as though you don't. You don't. Like you sleeping on you. You can't be sleeping on you. No, 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 no. We can't have that. You cannot be sleeping on you. All right. So I want you to remember that lifetime after lifetime, I am a shining spirit. You are a light. You are a star seed. You are a indigo. I don't care whatever you want to call it. You are a beautiful light and you need to value that more about yourself. Give yourself more credit. Love your weirdness. Love your quirkiness. Because with me and eternally loving myself, that's how I'm able to express and deliver these messages from spirit. But it was a point in time that I looked at this as if it was a curse, as if this was evil as this was bad as if this was stupid as this was weird like oh my god I was just so so ashamed of myself so ashamed of my gift but in turn my gift is a part of me so I was so ashamed of myself so there is something that you can attest to that you're ashamed of I used to be ashamed of the way that I talked the way that I spoke the way that I looked time out for that honey no, no, no mo. All right. <laughs> now, also, what you should love more and value more about yourself is everything I do is a choice. So I am in control of my reality. Did you hear me? Everything I do is a choice. So I am in control of my reality. Don't nobody hold your power. You hold your power. You hold your power. Now you can give it and you can take it back. But it's yours. You hold your power. You get the final say when it comes to you. Okay? <laughs> you. When it comes to you, don't nobody know what's going on. Don't nobody know what's best for this right here but you. Okay? It says, the thoughts I choose to believe right now are forming my experiences. I now listen to what I say and do not say anything that I do not want to become true for me. So I feel as though you need to realize that there is power in your words. There is power in your tongue. And when you say things, you're speaking things into existence. So my question is, what are you speaking? Spirit wants you to value more and love more and speak more of on the positive side of what you say about yourself. You know, I wouldn't even care like saying, oh, I'm sick or I'm hurting or things will never work out for me or I can't do that. Stop, 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 stop. Listen, I was obese. I was 335 pounds and I was saying that I was the size I am today. I didn't listen, but I realized that there was power in my words. And even though it didn't match up, I was, I didn't have money. I couldn't rub two pennies together. But I stopped 
speaking on that and started saying, oh my God, oh my God. Like me and my sister text each other. Like we be playing, we be texting each other like, girl, yes, I just flew, I just flew first class. The champagne was delicious. Like we ain't playing. Yeah, I just stopped by our businesses. Like we take it on a whole nother level, me and my sister. We just started this thing that we're doing. <laughs> And because we realize there is power in your word, so you need to realize that there is power in your word, so be mindful of what you speak about yourself, okay? Also, um, what you should value and love more about yourself, you have the rainbow dragon. The rainbow dragon brings the leap of joy that opens new doors. Have trust. Re discover wisdom expect miracles accept opportunities so for me i truly feel like you need to trust yourself more you need to trust your inner wisdom you need to trust yourself just to jump jump and know that that rainbow is taking you to a pot of gold because like i told you you're an amazing individual you guys have a lot of wisdom in that mind of yours the way that you express yourself, the way that you go about, there is so much beauty inside of you. And I just need you to believe in yourself. I need you to realize that you the shit. I need you to realize that you are that. Hmm, I ain't going to say it, bitch. But I need you to realize that. Okay? And if you a guy, I need you to realize that you him. <laughs> All right? You got the juice. You the plug. I need you to realize that. I need you to stop sleeping on yourself and your capabilities. Right. And just who you are, you just being here. Just to be in your presence is a gift. It's an honor to read for you. It's an honor. Because I don't care if you can't see it, I see it. I see that beautiful light. I see that be beautiful spirit. You're talking about somebody that only sees it has been there, done that. You're amazing. All right. So the next question that I ask spirit concerning you, love muffins, <laughs> um, was how can they accept their selves more? How can you accept yourself more? How can you be a, a acceptance of yourself? All right. <laughs> and. What we have right here is make waves. It's time to splash. All right. You've been playing it safe. All right. But you're not a safe player. All right. You like to color outside the lines. So it's time to make some waves. Okay. It's your turn to make a splash and rock a few creaky boats. It's going to make some noise. It's going to rattle some shit. Oh, well. You happy? That's all that matter. Yes, I'm getting ratchet right now. It says, don't be afraid to get wet. You may fail. You may look foolish. Or you may make people think in a new way. Every great trailblazer and change maker made waves. You're no different. And when I decided to say, book it and be myself, be my weirdness. I don't care what nobody say. Who? Tori going to be Tori. Let me drink some tea on that one. <sighs> Tori's going to be Tori. And I need you to be you. And I need you to make some waves. I need you to be yourself. Because I used to be like this quiet, like timid person. I was, I'm just quiet. I'm shy. I ain't shy, y'all. Hell no, I ain't shy. I ain't nothing shy about me. <laughs> okay. I was just fearful of what people might say. Okay. Let me tell you, this is what y'all get all the time. <laughs> all right. You know, it's time for you to make some waves because when you are being your true self, when you stop playing it safe and you be yourself, that is going to, it's just going to open so much opportunities and just so much doors for the joy and the inner peace and the beauty to pour in your life. You are not going to know another way but to be but you. I can never go back to that. 
you know? And currently when I'm doing this, this reading, we're in the new moon with the Libra. And Libra is all about partnerships. So this, doing this self-love reading, is all about the one, the relationship you have with yourself. It's time for you to pour into that relationship. And how you do that, okay, is making some waves. It's going to help you accept who you are by shining that beautiful light, baby. <laughs> all right all right and also how you can accept yourself more is spruce up your nest yes i literally just did this y'all like i i rechanged my whole room moved my bed moved my tables moved lamp pictures wipes because you know i'm a, i i will wipe some walls down y'all like i'm <laughs> oh i will like vacuum corners out crevices like i will do all that good stuff I don't know, I like to wipe my doors and my knobs down with pine salt because I just love the smell of that. But yeah, it says spruce up your nest. So I'm just let me let me just get into the car. It says, it's time for a little spring cleaning. Your home is sacred and your surroundings matter. Believe it or not, they matter, all right? It matters because in your home is where you come to relax. It's where you come to collect. It's where you come to think. So you definitely want to make sure that it's 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 it reflects you. All right. That's why like we lo I love that black table that we were doing that reading on when I went out of town. But that that was pretty. Oh, it was so pretty. But it ain't me. I like color. I like little intricate little things, and I like the earth in my daily, and I like paintings and i like I mean, you guys should see this room i like the like i got like lights hanging and i mean listen <laughs> i like weird beautiful chic shabby okay <laughs> i like those things so your surroundings is going to help you okay um come to accepting with some things because that's where you do your most thinking why by yourself all right. And as we know, I can always tell like, you know, that's why always when we're doing the new moons and the full moons and all those good things, we're always cleaning. We're always releasing, getting rid of things, bringing it back. You get what I'm saying? So it says um, surroundings matter. Honor where you recharge and fill it with beauty. Make space by giving away or donating what you don't need, all right? Your clutter could be someone else's gold. Plus, when we have less to process physically, we have more room to process things emotionally. A clear head and a new room for great art awaits. Spruce up your fabulous nest. Now, I love how they talked about um, getting rid of old things because I'm reading this intuitively. That's why I was like, I was going to say it, but it's weird, like read the card first. So as far as you're getting rid of old things, you know, that have, that, that hold like energies, you know what I'm saying? Like bad little heebie-jeebies that you really don't mess with this person no more. It's time to like come to acceptance that this is over, that this is done, and you're just going to let it go, okay? When we release things and let go of certain pieces we just come to acceptance all right that it's done it's finished it served its purpose and now it can go be a part of somebody else and for some i'm truly feeling like these are some people it's time for you to um release some people from your thing because it they're making it hard for you to accept yourself you can't change nobody but you can change the way you show up and be around AS, yes, because I who in a hot minute I will. And I just feel like you definitely want to start being around more people that um just just are a reflection of you that help you see the beauty in yourself. Okay. Like my best friend, she's prone to like want to beat up on herself. And I'll be looking at her and she'd be like, What? I'll be like, girl, I ain't going there with you. I'm not finna beat up on my you ain't finna be beating up on my best friend. I don't even care if that it's her, but I, in my presence, she's not allowed to beat up on herself. She's not allowed to beat up on my best friend. She's not allowed to talk about her in a negative way because 